Today we look at formulae and variation and the question reads a quantity z varies directly as the square of x and inversely as the square root of y if x increases by 20% and y decreases by 36% find the percentage change in z. So interpreting this we are told that z varies as the square of x and inversely as the square root of y. So with this we can now introduce the equal sign and when you introduce the equal sign we say z is equal to and that means we'll have to introduce a constant term let's say k so k times x squared all over the square root of y. So let's have this as the value of z before any change is done. But after the change, we want to know what z is. So let's call it z prime. So z prime is not yet known, but x prime, we are told, is, so x is increased by 20%, so that is 120 over 100 of x, and that is 1.2x. But y decreases by 36%, that is 100 minus 36 so that is 64 over 100 y which is 0 0.64 y this should imply that the new value of z that is z prime is k times x prime squared over the square root of y prime of which in this case should be k into x prime is 1.2x, 1.2x squared over the square root of y prime and y prime we had as 0.64y. So when this is worked out you realize you can bring 1.2 out and that is 1.2 squared, so we have 1.44, and then kx squared, and this will be divided by the square root of 0.64 times the square root of y, and that is 0.8 times root y. So 1.44 divided by 0.8, that should be 1.8 kx squared over root y and remember kx squared over root y we already have it up here as z so for simplicity we can say that z prime is equal to 1.8 z because the whole of this is z so finally we are going to look at the percentage change percentage change in z will be obtained by the change in z which is the new value minus the original all over the original and then you multiply by 100 so the new value here is 1.8 z minus z all over z times 100 and that is when z is factored out we'll have z into 1.8 minus 1 all over z times 100 so z and z will cancel and when they cancel we'll have 1.8 minus 1 that is 0 0.8 times 100 and finally we have 80 percent and because it is positive then this means it's a percentage increase so we have 80 percent increase so that is it for this question. 
Thank you for your patience until this time. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.